Hi again. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little um, 4th of July pin. Um, it's very easy to do and you can put it on your collar, or on your purse, whatever. Um, you can give them out to your friends and your co-workers and you know have a lot of fun with this. It's really easy to make. So let me go ahead and show you. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need three pieces of ribbon. You know, they're all six inches long, red, white, and blue. And you're going to need to um, finish the edges off so that it doesn't fray. And if you don't know how to do that, I do have a video up. Um, and I think it's called How to Stop Your Ribbon from Fraying. So if you don't know how to do that, um, watch that video. You're also going to need... Um, the uh, woodworking tool with this point on it and I want you to remember that this is very hot you don't want to touch your skin with it because it will burn anything it touches so be very very careful with this okay so the first thing that you're going to do is um, line up your ribbon in the order that you want them red white and blue and what I did was to hold them in place while I'm working with it I just put a, a tiny little bit of adhesive just across the bottom of the blue and across the the bottom of the white and that's not there to really hold it forever it's just there to hold it while I'm working with it so you're gonna take your ribbon and you're gonna line them up like that and then you're going to, this is very simple, you're going to pick it up and depending on how you want it, if you see how I'm folding it here, um, the, the blue is more forward. So what I did was I turned it this way because I want it to kind of look like um, the flag. So I kind of want the red to be first. So you pick it up with the red on top and you just bring it together like that. Okay. And you can adjust your tail ribbons to be the way you want them. I kind of like mine fanned out a little bit like that and then once you get that to where you want it and you're going to be really careful with this part you're going to take your hot tool your woodworking tool oops mine just slipped and you're going to put a, a hole right in the center so you take your woodworking tool and you put a hole right in the center of your bow and what that's going to do it's going to go through all of the ribbon and it's going to hold all your ribbon together so then you take your flag, your American flag and I got these at um, Oriental Trading and you get a whole bunch of them for a small price and you just take off the back and you stick the the pin through the ribbon and then you put it on your collar or your purse and then you just clip it clip it back together and then since I didn't you know fix these ribbons up at the bottom I'm just gonna take off those little pieces with a lighter. Um, I'm gonna have to do it again once I cut them. But what I did was I just took my scissors and I just went up the corner. Let me make sure you can see that. I just went right up the corner of my ribbons with them all together. And then you would have to to do this again to make sure that they don't fray on you. 
and then you would do the exact same thing. Where's my white one at here? You would put, put them together like that. And then you're going to go from the corner of the red one. And just cut it straight up. And then you'll have to use your lighter or whatever you're using to make sure they don't come up, come undone and fray on you. And this is a very simple project for you to do. So have fun with it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And if you need any written instructions, go to my website, www.craftaproject.com, and I have the written instructions there for you. And subscribe to my videos. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.